And like we said before, week one will be less than two weeks away by the time you're hearing this and reading this, and we have a lot to cover. And I have all the info you need to build your bankroll this NFL season. After months of research and weeks of preparation for this week one slate, this is what I found most important for you to know. So let's get after it. Now we'll move on to quarterbacks versus defenses. When looking to select a QB, we need to find the defense that gave up the most DraftKings points to opposing offenses. In this case, since it's week one, we are using 2021 data and our best judgment from offseason moves. In the future, these stats will be updated for this season once we have a couple weeks under our belt. A game to point out right at the top is the Cardinals Chiefs game. The Chiefs defense was awful against opposing QBs last season as they were ranked by Pro Football Re- Reference as the second worst team to give up DraftKings points to QBs. As we saw previously, Cardinals Chiefs is the highest over under on the slate. Here's a list of the worst to best defenses against QBs for DraftKings points averages in 2021. Here's a look at all the QBs on the main slate taking on their defenses. Um, At the top here, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on Washington. As we discussed earlier, that could be the sneaky shootout that nobody's talking about. Um, Jacksonville looks really good against Washington. They're cheap stacking options. I'm definitely going to be willing to play some Jacksonville week one and some uh, larger field tournaments. 23.1 average fancy points per game last year. Uh, Washington's defense was just awful against opposing quarterbacks. That's why they're ranked number one and teams to attack with a quarterback. The Arizona Cardinals sitting at number two. We already discussed them. 21.3 uh, draft Kings points the Chiefs gave up against the opposing quarterbacks. So Kyler Murray is definitely going to be somebody you want to consider. Uh, and then we get to number three, the Jets against the Ravens. Uh, we could see Joe Flacco taking on his former team in Baltimore, but I'm not going to put any weight into this. Uh, like we said before, Baltimore was terrible last year on defense just due to the fact the defense was on the field too much. And they had their own injury issues, not given alone all the issues on the offensive side. So Baltimore was just a big mess last year. I don't think you should take any weight into these stats for this season. But Baltimore did give up 20.9 DraftKings points to opposing quarterbacks last year. Uh, then you got the Saints at the top taking on the Falcons. 20.6 points were given up by the Falcons per game against opposing quarterbacks. Last uh, season, That's this is why I kind of want to like this uh, game. But I'm scared it's going to shit the bed and we're going to be sitting back wondering why we even considered playing James Winston week one but yeah the Falcons were the fourth ranked team against opposing quarterbacks last uh season then we move on to the Packers Vikings Vikings were the fifth worst team against uh, opposing quarterbacks I'm definitely gonna have some interest in this game on both sides but this makes me like the Packers even more then we move on to the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Jets. The Jets were bad against a lot of the positions last year, but they were ranked sixth worst against opposing quarterbacks last season. Like I said, Lamar Jackson looks to be inter- interesting, but I'm not going to take a big swing on him in a GPP. More of a cash game play for me. The Colts got some interest there with Matt Ryan as the Texans were the 8th worst team against opposing quarterbacks, averaging 19.5 fantasy points. Then we move on to the Vikings Packers. Yes, I got some interest there. I really like Kirk Cousins a lot. Uh, Then the Giants taking on the Titans. I like Daniel Jones at his price point, and he could very well be the cash play for Week 1 at 5,000 flat. Then we move on to the Eagles. Yeah, I got some interest there. Uh, Jalen Hurts. He's got some new weapons with A.J. Brown uh, in Philadelphia now, so there's definitely going to be some interest there. Moving on to the Texans now. I don't have any interest in Davis Mills week one. If you want to play him in the Millionaire Maker, go for it. But uh, in these regular single entry, three max tournaments, I'm not going to play 
Davis Mills. Uh, Commanders, Jaguars, definitely got some interest there. I think this could be that sneaky shootout nobody's talking about, as I've discussed before. Pittsburgh taking on Cincinnati. That's something that's very interesting on this list, in my opinion, is that Pittsburgh is ranked higher than Cincinnati is uh, at 18.9. The Bengals gave up that many fantasy points against opposing quarterbacks last year, ranked 12th. So that's definitely something to consider. If you want to roster Mitchell Trubisky, try to get a little sneaky. This could be a lot closer game than what Vegas thinks. Chargers Raiders ranked 13th against the opposing quarterbacks. So yeah, definitely want to attack this Raiders defense. 49ers Bears really only cash game interest for me with Trey Lance. Raiders Chargers like the game environment. We just discussed the Chicago earlier, saying we don't really have a lot of interest in Justin Fields or his pass catchers. Uh, yeah, that's the list of the the top ranked 14 teams we got about 16 teams on here because there's some teams that are tied with the same amount of fantasy points averaged so if you want to see the rest of this list subscribe to my patreon and we will have it at your disposal anytime you want but as of right now got some interest in the jaguars and the cardinals and the jets no interest in the jets (laughs) no interest in the saints interest in the packers Colts, Vikings, Eagles, Steelers. But yeah, you be the judge of this list. Take what you want from it. But those are the QBs that I like as of right now.